Any parent is well aware of the sacrifices they must make when a child is sick. Yeah, but there's one determined mother who's now racing against the clock to save her only son's sight and, in fact, his life as well. Fox 29's Joyce Evans here with her incredible story. Both of their incredible stories. It is incredible, yeah. and a lot of incredible people have come together to help this mother after she declared war when her only son was born with cancer. He is the happiest little boy. He's full of life, full of energy. I'm not this way. No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Hard to believe this happy little toddler has already endured more pain and probing. What's that? Than most people experience in a lifetime. He's been sedated over 30 times. It all started when Brayden was only two weeks old. We give him pain medicine, but that's hard as a mom to be giving your 20 day old son morphine to get through the pain. My 10 year old daughter would hold Brayden, you know, help hold his hands while I would give him a shot, and she's tough as nails too. Still, it's hurting him to help him. We didn't have a choice. Braden had to beat this. And so if that meant that I had to give him shots, and that's what I did. But then Braden needed much more. Our pediatric ophthalmologist told us that Philadelphia was where we needed to come to try to save his life and his eyes and his vision. So began exhausting and expensive flights from Greenville, South Carolina to Philadelphia to treat Braden's retinoblastoma a rare eye cancer that can rob children of their sight and their life. The same genetic condition that had claimed one of his father's eyes 37 years ago. So it was an interesting situation because we were able to offer Braden something that his father um, wasn't invented at the time of his father's treatment. The expert tag team of CHOP's Dr. Anne-Marie Leahy 22 left eye measures and Will's eye surgeon Dr. Carol Shields went to work on a large tumor in Braden's left eye, but... Braden surprised all of us and he grew eight more tumors in his eyes after he finished his first rounds of chemotherapy. Six tumors in the left eye, three in the right. None can be removed. They stay in. Um, the only way that they could surgically remove them would be to remove the eye. Both eyes in Braden's case, it meant dozens more monthly flights back and forth between their Greenville home and their now second home, Philadelphia. It has become routine for us. Chemo, radiation, lasers, even cryotherapy, yes, freezing to try to stop the tumor growth and kill the cancer. Insurance does not cover it all. But we still have thousands of dollars in med medical expenses every year. While he still plays like any other toddler, Braden's sight is damaged. Just how much is what his mother and grandmother hope to find out now. Because both are worried something worse may have developed. And his grandmother noticed some changes with his vision recently and had this sort of sick feeling before she came. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Terrified that Brayden may have developed a brain tumor. <laughs> that happy little boy wanted no part of what was about to go down. <laughs> as Dr. Shields assembled her team. They'll see what's going on now deep inside Brayden's baby blues. Hard to imagine, right? The anguish that Brayden's mother and grandmother are feeling waiting outside that operating room, and they are expecting bad news. Coming up at 6, we're going to show you the outcome of Brayden's critical exam. Carrie. It's a great story, Joyce. Thank you. Welcome back. A live look at the Philadelphia skyline. We're following more rain moving through the area tonight. Meteorologist Caitlin Roth will have the full forecast coming up in just a few minutes. A little bit earlier at 5, we walked you through a 3-year-old's tough journey to fight a rare genetic eye cancer. Now Joyce Evans is back to show us the results of this critical examination. Joyce. Uh, yes, guys. Okay, it really was heart-stopping standing outside while Braden's surgeon checked to see if his tumors had grown and if the cancer was spreading. Now, the moment of truth to see if his mother's incredible sacrifice and his doctor's tedious treatments have paid off. He had a little bit of a phobia there. Dr. Carol Shields is one of the world's leading eye cancer surgeons. Say 3.5 by 3. She helped revolutionize the treatment of retinoblastoma, which used to claim the sight and or life 
of most patients. Okay. She says Will's eye has not lost a single child to this cancer in 15 years, but they can't always save their sight. I mean, my impression is this eye should be seeing pretty well, even though the scar is so close to the foveola. Well, he looks good. He's completely flat there. And his retina's flat, too. Dr. Shields came out to deliver incredible news to Braden's worried mom and grandmother. Blood flow's perfect. Great. So, so that's really good news, OK? No cryo today. No cryo today. Great. Nothing. Super. Nothing. Things look good. Sabra Bateman's so-called bulletproof shield melted away when Dr. Shields praised Braden as a tough little guy who really owes it all to his determined mom. For the rest of your life, you will remember all these trips and all the sacrifice. But here he is. He has both eyes. He has vision in both eyes. And uh, nothing ever got out of control. Definitely. He's cancer free. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're relieved. So we were, I'm going to cry, hold on. <laughs> because what it means is no more monthly visits to Philadelphia hospitals, no more painful shots for now. Definitely cause for celebration. Yep, see you in five months, and thanks for all you do. It'll be a few years before doctors may be able to give Brayden an all clear. Now, if that's not enough, there's yet something else making Brayden's story even more heartwarming. Earthly angels coming to the rescue, easing tremendous financial and emotional stress. Among them, Angel Flight East, pilots who voluntarily transport patients to and from Philadelphia for treatment. They flew Braden and his mom 21 times. And the Ronald McDonald House opening its doors to provide free room and board and counseling. Good to see you again. For families of seriously ill children. It really puts life in perspective. And I think that we can all relate to knowing someone in our lives and their whole life turns around and they need that support. Bye. Susan Campbell says the Ronald McDonald House will leave the light on for Braden. Angel Flight will have a plane ready, and doctors Leahy and Shields will be standing by too. Everybody involved in Braden's journey has become like family to us, and they are all such a big part of why he's winning this fight. And he is winning so far. Now, although their work is not over, the mother and son are already giving back. They were here in Philadelphia just days ago, not to see the doctors again, but to attend a gala for Angel Flight East. Look at him here. They, they honored the pilots. Tails there, look. They honored the pilots for making most of Braden's medical trips here possible, and they promoted awareness about early detection of children's eye cancer. And for the first time in three years, the Bateman family will actually get to enjoy most of their summer. Now, how about that, Thomas? The best part, he gets to just be a kid, Joyce. Yeah, yeah.